Hello everyone! Today's vlog, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a self-COVID test swab at home. If you're not connected with me, you know what to do. Simply hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share, and leave a comment to one of my videos. So yesterday at work, we've been given a demonstration on how to do a self-swab at home. And the trust provided the healthcare staff a box of swab kit to be used at home and they required us to do at least two times a week of swabbing. That's a lot, isn't it? So this is an overview of what happened yesterday and thanks to my good friend Abina for giving me a chance to film the whole part and for allowing me to post it on my YouTube channel. So I have here a box of swab kit with me and I'm going to show you what are inside of this box. First thing, this is the disposable something swab. This looks like a normal cotton buds and this is much better than the original swabbing test kit. Unlike the original swabbing test kit that they have to go from your mouth down to the throat and the same swab that they're going to use to your nose, which is the very gross part. And this one, we just need to swab our nose and that's it. And it comes with the two small bottles of solution which will be used to soak and mix with the swab sample. I'm gonna show it to you later when we're doing the procedure. And it comes with the tiny tube in which the solution and the swab sample mixing takes place. And the last but not the least is the test cartridge. It has no difference with a pregnancy test and I'm gonna show you once I will open this pack later. I have a pair of gloves for me to use for the whole procedure. And I have a tissue paper because before we're going to start the whole procedure, we're going to clear up our nose by softly blowing it to this tissue. Moreover, we should have a separate plastic bag or bin to dispose all of the used materials after the whole procedure and not to mix it with a normal rubbish bin at home. So guys, let's proceed to the first procedure. I will softly clear up my nose by softly blowing it in the tissue and dispose the tissue in a proper bin. Assuming that I already washed and dry my hands thoroughly, I'm gonna wear my gloves. So guys, let's open the cartridge and put it in a flat surface. So, this is how it looks like. Then, take the tube and pour at least 6 drops of this solution inside the tube.
sticks so you always have to put this tube in an upright position avoid spilling the solution and open a sample swab I know this doesn't feel pleasant but here we go Now, I will gently insert the tip of the swab inside my nose and gently swirl it at least 10 times each side of the nose. So here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. <laughs> and the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wish I could just count it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> oh my god, it made me cry. Now that we're done, grab the tube with the solution and put this tip of the swab inside and slowly rotate it at least six seconds. Just for the solution and there's something to mix. So, assuming that 6 seconds is done, just gently squeeze the bottom of this tube, ensuring that the solution will be left at the bottom and not sticking to the tip of the swab. And dispose it properly to you know where you're gonna dispose. Then, cover the tube with this cap it has a hole in the tip and then so pour at least two drops of the solution in the cartridge one two and then wait for 30 minutes to get the result if you get two lines of C and T then it means you are positive and that you have COVID if you only get one line, then it means negative. Just like the pregnancy test, guys, if you get like faded D line and then with C line as well, it's positive. And then if you only have like one line showing, it means negative. So we're done with the whole procedure, guys. And whoever doing this and get the positive result, kindly contact your GP as a for further investigation and treatment. I hope this video is very helpful to everyone and please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share and leave a comment to one of my videos.